Now fans, let's hear it for your Bentley Falcons! Welcome to the Bentley Arena for tonight's matchup between the Black Knights of Army West Point and your Bentley University Falcons. It's time for these starting lineups. First, for the visiting Black Knights. Starting at forward from Portsmouth, Rhode Island, number 11, Dominic Franco. Starting at forward from Fort Collins, Colorado, number nine, Tyler Pham. Starting at forward from Buffalo, New York, number 18, Zach Ivancho. Starting at defense from Needham, Massachusetts, number two, Dalton McAfee. Starting at defense from Raleigh, North Carolina, number seven, Alex Wilkinson. And in net for the Black Knights from Prairie Grove, Illinois, number 30, Cole Bruns. <laughs> Assistant coaches for the Black Knights are Zach McKelvey and Chris McKelvey. The head coach is Brian Riley. And now let's hear it for your Bentley Falcons. Starting for your Falcons at forward from Lino Lakes, Minnesota, number 22, Reiner Garoski. <laughs> Starting at forward from Smithers, British Columbia, number 15, Luke Santerno. <laughs> Starting at forward from Montreal, Quebec, number 21, Jonathan Debian. Starting at defense from Calgary, Alberta, number 28, Charlie Martian. <laughs> Starting at defense from Lemonster, Massachusetts, number 14, Matt Lombardozzi. <laughs> and in goal for your Falcons this evening from Oakville, Ontario, number 30, Aiden Polino. Assistant coaches for the Falcons are Ben Murphy and Mike Findorf. The head coach is Ryan Soderquist. Tonight's officials assigned by Atlanta Cocky are referees James Troop and Michael Schubert. Linesmen are Mike Samick and AJ Potvin. We are pleased to welcome you this evening as we celebrate the grand opening of the Bentley Arena. This eagerly awaited addition to the campus will serve as a central gathering spot for our alumni, faculty, staff, and most importantly, our students.
Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, please rise and remove your caps for the presentation of the colors for tonight's game as we honor America and all who defend her. Presenting the colors for tonight's game, please welcome from Hanscom Air Force Base, the Massachusetts Army National Guard Military Honors Unit. We remind you to remain standing at attention until the colors have been retired following the singing and performance of our national anthem. Performing tonight's national anthem, please welcome Ashley Schulten. stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting How about another hand for Ashley Schulten? Bentley countering with Jonathan Davey and Luke Santerno and Reiner Garoski in the starting lineup. Matt Lombardozzi and Charlie Marchand defensively. Aiden Polino gets the call in net. 3.13 goals against average in a 901 save percentage. Bentley left to right across your computer screen. In the home whites, black numerals, black and blue. Trim and we're underway at the DeFelice ice rink. Drop yeah. pass for Jago. Jago to the left wing. Shot by Brassard. Here's Jago. Up top. Walking it in. Has Franco standing up against him. Goes over to the left side. Bentley sizing it up. They'll go back to Jago. Jago takes the shot and scores! Tanner Jago erupts the building for the second time in Bentley Arena history as he goes high glove side on Cole Brun. Tanner Jago lights the lamp on the power play. And the Bentley Falcons will still have, Matt, the added benefit of an extended power play, the four on three goal. That is a huge goal for Bentley. You're right, it's, as we're gonna see it here, Tanner Jago, he's just holding the puck, passes it off to his line mate, Kyle Schmidt. Kyle Schmidt is gonna feed it back to Tanner Jago right here. And he just takes it on the forehand and rips it, high glove side past the glove of Cole Bruns. And credit Kyle Schmidt, he got Dominic Franco to drop his hand and hold the stick over to the right side. Franco thought it was gonna be a centering pass. That was a design play to go back to Jago for the shot. Schmidt, Schmidt up the left wing, gasses a defender. It was Pham around box, he plays the puck. Santerno up to the point for Marchand. Bentley loading it in, front score! Luke Santerno! Luke Santerno doing what Luke Santerno does. Every goal of his is pretty much the same. He's standing in that crease, and he's that big body stick on the ice, putting that one right home. Welcome to the happy hunting grounds once again. 
Santerno tops it right by Cole Bruns. How did he get behind the defenders that fast? And Jonathan Davian saying with that feed, look at that pass right to Santerno. Schmidt from behind the net to St. Davian on the left wing, and Davian finds Santerno back door. Bruns never stood a chance. About four minutes gone here in the third period. It's a tie ball game as Franco shoots it, and it's saved by Polino. Polino getting the right leg pad and the blocker out there to push that one wide of the net. Marchand. Draped on Franco. Franco to Avancho, who gets shouldered into the boards by Lombardozzi. Bunch of Falcons and a bunch of Black Knights. Tyler Pham as a stick shatters. I think that was Pham's. He'll head back for fresh Lombardozzi. He'll actually head off as the puck continues to be tied up. And Lombardozzi, as Avancho, got himself out of traffic. And oh, Matt Lombardozzi just got away with a uh, pretty big hit on Zach Avancho. In front shot, score! The other direction! It's Jake Capula, loose puck! He picks it up, he takes out the netminder for a goal! Jake Capula with the lone effort down there, picked up the puck in the neutral zone and just brings it down. We're gonna get a good look here. Look at Jake Capula off the boards, picking the puck up, takes it to his forehand and it'll just go across the crease and on the backhand, slip it right through the five hole of Cole Bruns. It's a 3-2 Falcon game. Jake Capula, everybody seemed to be slowing down for the change, except for Jake Capula. Matt, I was expecting him to peel off. Instead, he headed into the play, and he saw it coming himself, took it the advantage, hit the turbo key, and Bentley's back on top by one. It's a very heady goal there by Jake Capula. He knew the puck was bouncing off the boards. It was going to come on his stick, and that's the first even strength goal of the night for the Bentley Falcons, Jake Capula. Face off one by the Falcons, back to the point, 20 seconds left. Here's McAfee, McAfee for Franco. Puck behind, Aiden Polino. McAfee, McDonald skates it away! On the net, he scores! The celebration is on in Waltham! Andrew McDonald on the left wing puts it in from the blue line and the Bentley Falcons will collect their first ever victory in the Bentley Arena. Look at those happy bunch of Falcons. Bentley coming up with two huge points and they will catch Niagara for ninth place and stay within shouting distance of home ice. The Bentley Falcons have won this game four to two, and it sets up a winner take all for home ice next Saturday against AIC.